sili kora basi enda. Kamu si kuru babasi kinde kero babasi anda. Thank you, Lord. Family, I'm just coming to give you a word from the Lord. And just to share with you what the Father has put on my spirit for the past couple of weeks. The past couple of weeks. But I believe, you know, he really does want it to be released today. Valentine's Day, a word to the faithful bride. This is Vivian Rose, Apostle Vivian Rose. And I just want to share with you what the Spirit of God is putting on my heart. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory, we give you praise. I want us just to release worship to the Father. Release worship to Adonai. For the gift of his son Jesus. Our bridegroom king, hallelujah, our Lord, Savior, Redeemer, our first love, our first husband. He was showing me this morning what the enemy would have willed had I entered into certain relationships or had I pursued my own path. He was showing me what the enemy even planned. Hallelujah. For not only my life, but for others that I've been praying for. And I was like, wow. Your God, my God, is a defender. Had it not been for the Lord who was on your side, the enemy would have swallowed you up. Yes, you would have entered in, but you would have been destroyed. Had it not been the Lord who was on your side, the snare of the enemy would have taken some of us down. But the Lord is a good God. He's a faithful father and he's a jealous lover. Yes, he is. He did not permit your foot to be moved because he is a defender. Hallelujah. And he has something bigger and better in store. Lord, we declare you. your mighty word and your hope for majesty sing with me Lord we declare you We proclaim the name of the Lord. We proclaim his mighty works in our lives. We proclaim his majesty. And we ask for his presence, his power to fall. 
we bless the name of Jesus, the Almighty, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, for his authority over our lives, over our soul, and we thank him for his sustaining grace. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. I want you to be in a mood of worship. And I just sense that the Spirit of God is hovering over so many of you who he has put in my spirit as the faithful bride. The faithful bride. Let me just share with you what he has spoken to me. Amen. Let me just share with you what he spoke to my spirit. And he's been putting this in my heart. He began speaking to me about me, actually. He began speaking to me about me as to why he had, I wouldn't say frustrated, but why he had held back on releasing me um, in former months, okay? But he began to extend it and he began to speak a word which I even spoke in the Gideon War Room a jewel in the crown, a jewel in the crown. And he just basically wants you to know as the faithful bride, this word is to those of you that you are standing, you are praying, fasting, preparing, very important, preparing, purging. You are serving, you are sacrificing, you are honoring the Lord in your life with your decisions. You are standing for righteousness, for justice. You are standing for purity, for holiness. You are saying no to your flesh and yes to your spirit. Many of you are hurting because of your stand. You know, one of the things the Father put in my heart was some of the things that I've suffered in terms of persecution, Um not even just misunderstanding, but a lot has been said behind the scenes. A lot has been done, okay? A lot has been sent against this ministry spiritually. I cannot tell you the spiritual things that we have suffered and the things that I've seen and that the Lord has shown me. But he said to me, if that is your price, there are others dying for their stand in Christ. There are others being physically persecuted there are others whose blood is being shed in nations around this world and our prayers stand with those brethren others in the middle east others in the asian nations that are literally being persecuted in african nations for their stand in god okay there are people around the world that are losing life that are being torched tortured For they are standing the Lord and they still say yes to the King, Jesus. Amen. So he was saying to me, yes, you have been persecuted. Yes, spiritually, you have been targeted, attacked. Yes, you've gone through a lot of, you know, rejection and misunderstandings and so many other things that come with ministry, sacrifice, personally, financially. Yes, people have taken us over a barrel. Yes, people have spoken all manner of evil concerning us and they still do. But he was saying, if this is your price, let it be. If this is your price, let it be. So to the faithful bride, everyone has a price for their standing God. And this is your price. Saying no, denying yourself, taking up your cross and following Jesus. Knowing that you could say yes, knowing that an opportunity is being presented an easier way by the enemy, by Satan, through sometimes family, through sometimes friends, through sometimes colleagues, ways are being presented, even through ministers, even through people that are called by his name, even through other Christians. There are ways in which you're being presented The devil doesn't let up on his pressure. He doesn't let up on his pressure. So you're being presented with ways, opportunities that you could say yes to and you could have your way. But you said no because you want his will 
God's will, his way. You are what the Lord is calling the faithful bride. Okay? So this word is to the faithful bride. This word is not to all believers who are waiting for marriage. This word is to those that know. And I believe many of you, the Father has spoken to you before. But this is just a confirming word of assurance and of love and of appreciation. It is to the jewel, the faithful bride, and it is called a jewel in the crown. For singles and for married people, trust in God for marriage breakthrough, for marriage restoration. To the man and to the woman serving God with all their heart. To those of you that are allowing the purposes of God to be established through you. You are engaged in the work of the Lord. You are engaged in obeying him in whatever capacity he has placed you in. Okay? You are engaged in allowing the purposes of God. It could be through prayer. It could be through intercession, reaching out, serving. Okay? In your capacity, the community, whatever he's saying to you. You're engaged in allowing the purposes of God to be established through you. You are preparing Okay, you're also trusting for the promise of marriage. It is a divine promise. And he says, I want you to know that the father sees you. He sees you and he's acknowledging you today through this word. For some of you, the hand of the Lord has held you back until he brought you to the place of absolute surrender. That is the word that he put in my heart for me in particular, but it applies to many of you. The hand of God, not the devil. He sees you. He sees your efforts. He sees your words. He sees your praise, your worship. But he held you until he could bring you to the place of surrender. The word that he put on my heart was, unless a sea goes to the ground and dies, it abideth alone. But if it dies, amen, it bears much fruit. It bears much fruit. So there's a greater plan at stake for a greater harvest. There's a greater plan at stake over your life for a greater harvest of souls and a greater impact in the kingdom and a greater influence that the Lord is working in your life over those territories and over those projects and over those assignments. And the price that you are paying is to stay in the wait, to be held a little bit longer. Amen. There's a greater plan at stake for a greater harvest, for a greater dominion, and for greater influence. And he's saying the weight has exposed your heart of devotion to him. It has exposed your heart. It has authenticated your stand. Praise God. Hallelujah. It has solidified your love walk in Christ. It has caused you to dig deeper in those days and in those seasons of pain, of denial, of feeling denial, or of feeling why? Why, Lord? What is it? What are you looking for? It is your garden of Gethsemane moment. It is the place of wrestling. It is the place of pain, of anxiety. It is the place where you can see the road ahead. You don't really want to take that road, but you submit it to nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. This is the place the faithful bride has been brought to. She's been brought to the threshing floor. She's been brought to the place of struggling with God, seeking him over and over. Yes, are you sure this is your way? And he's saying yes. And in the end, you have surrendered, submitted. This is that place, amen, where Jesus was facing the cross, was facing the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good and for the joy set before him. He endured the cross. He endured the crucifixion. This is that place of endurance where you know that you're ready. You know you've prepared. You know you're serving God. You know his promises are yea and amen. You know yet there is still that step that you've had to take of enduring. Okay? Of enduring for the greater good. Of enduring for the joy that is set before you like our Lord and King and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So he's saying his hands are working behind the scenes. He's saying his promise over you is yea and amen. And he's saying that he shall reward you with a jewel in the crown, marriage and relationship. And he's saying in many more ways than one, 
the Father will honor you. That was one of the things he impressed upon my spirit again today. In many more ways than one, the Father will honor you. It's not only with your marital relationship, not only with the quality of that relationship and of marriage, but he's going to honor you in other areas of your life. He's going to honor you in other ways, ways in which maybe you're not even thinking about now. But he's saying in many more ways than one, the Father will honor you. He also spoke about the importance of maximizing the time that he has gifted you with. That he has gifted you with. All right. He said this word gift and strongly impressed it in my spirit. But it is a gift of time that has been given to you for your life, for yourself, for your assignment and for your call. It is a gift of time that has been given to you to press you deeper. Amen. In him. And one of the things that he talked about in holding you back which I spoke about before, was the fact that your weight has exposed your heart of devotion. It has solidified your love walk in Christ and many will drink from that well of life that has been stored up. And so that takes time. And that is why he's gifted you with that time to allow that process to be completed in you and to allow that depth to be worked into you. I hope this makes sense. Amen. So the word of the Lord to you today, to the faithful bride, is you know this word and you've heard this word in your spirit and maybe through a prophetic word before. You know it and you've heard it. So this is a word of confirmation on Valentine's Day 2021. It is also a word of love that is working something greater for you. And I also heard him say, I appreciate you and your sacrifice. I appreciate you and your sacrifice. Hallelujah. The scripture reference is Isaiah 62, verse 3 to 4. You shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no longer be termed forsaken, nor shall your land any more be termed desolate. But you shall be called Hephzibah and your land Beulah, for the Lord delights in you hallelujah and your land shall be married what a privilege to have a god who can tell you that he delights in you what a position to be in amen god bless you all have a wonderful valentine's day and rejoice if you were called the faithful bride because not only will you receive your reward on earth not only will every promise and word be established, but you will be received by our bridegroom King, Jesus, on that day, on that day, hallelujah, on that day when the body of Christ is being released into the presence of the Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Shalom, my sisters. Shalom, my brothers. I love you so much. And this is the word of the Lord to you today. Have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. God bless you. Bye-bye.